Hello, today I'm going to give a demo on using rapid minor to solve a classification problem on naive bias. So let's have a look at the data set which we are going to use today. This is a PIMA index diabetes database which actually says whether a particular person can have diabetes or not. This was taken as a part of experiment in the Pima Indian race. So if you look at the data set, you can see that there are 768 instances and there are like eight attributes plus a class, which eventually is like whether the person can have uh, diabetes or not, tested negative or tested positive. So that's our target variable. This is a CSV format of the same data set, which I had converted from the ARF format. If you see here, these are the eight attributes and this is our target class whether the, the, the particular subject is tested positive or negative so i'm going to load this uh, data set into rapid minor so i have just opened rapid minor here and i'm going to load our data set here so i'm going to import the csv file this is the diabetes.csv and it's actually a comma separated CSV and here you can see like you can see all of these attributes listed and hit next and this is the uh, window where I can like choose to ignore or like consider all these attributes so in this exercise I am going to consider all the eight attributes and here I am going to set that this as the target variable which is the class type tested positive or negative and hit next and then I am going to add it to the data and name it to diabetes data set and hit finish you now you can see that the data set is added onto rapid minor you can see the uh, raw data right here and this is the class which we are going to find out and if you see the statistics we can see all different kind of statistics for all of these attributes say the min max average and uh, just giving an overview on the attributes of the data set so this is the class which says like a tested positive or negative out of over 700 odd uh, data which we had in census there are around 268 tested positive and 500 tested negative and these are attributes so this is like uh, whether the particular person was pregnant how if so how many times this is the plasma count this is the skin thickness on bicep this is the insulin data and this is like the body mass index pedigree and age and you can also like see the different kinds of charts here I can probably like play around changing the values of different variables and see like how it is. So now let's create a new process to evaluate this model. So I just created a new process here and my first element will be my diabetes data set which I just dragged and dropped. And we need to do a cross validation um, on the training and the testing data sets here. So I'm just dragging and dropping a cross validation element right here. And double clicking on that you can see the separation for training set and the uh, logic for the testing side as well. On the training side is where we need to put our classification logic. So here we are trying to do a naive bias. So I'm just adding that. On the testing side we need to apply the model which we are just used which is a naive bias. So I'm just trying and open up the model. Add one performance box as well. We under evaluation. Right here percentage performance. I'm just connecting all the elements. Now I'm going to run and see how the process works. Okay, the process has run successfully. If you see here, this is the output. And uh, let me see the result overview right here. There is uh, process completed. So this is the distribution model example set. So this is a performance vector. So if, we, if I go to a performance vector tab, I can see in detail like what is the accuracy. So for our uh, current run, we have got an accuracy of 75.51, which is not really great. But for particular and you can see like uh, this is the confusion matrix which we have seen this is a confusion matrix as you can see here so once this is two uh, instances were predicted as positive which were actually true and 82 were like predicted as positive which were negative and 106 were predicted as negative where they were actually positive and 418 were correctly predicted as negative which gives an um, a recall percentage of 83.6 for the negative and 60.45 for the positive. Now this tab will show the simple distribution of our model. Like class tested positive is at 0.349 and negative is at 0.651 which is one minus other value. This is the distribution table of the model which you have just created.